On the new $5 bill of Australia will not be a portrait of King Charles, announced the country's central bank. The new banknote design will pay homage to the culture and history of Indigenous Australians on one side, while the other side will still feature the Australian Parliament. The Reserve Bank of Australia RBA, said the decision was made after consultation with the government as the new $5 bill will need to be designed and printed before being issued into circulation, the current bill with the portrait of the late Queen Elizabeth I will still be in use and will be valid when the new bill comes out. The central bank said it will consult with First Australians, a national indigenous organisation that supports entrepreneurs, when designing the new $5 bill. This decision by the Reserve Bank Board followed consultation with the Australian government, which supports this change. The bank will consult with First Australians in developing the $5 bill. The new bill will take several years to design and print. In the meantime, the current $5 bill will continue to be issued. It will be usable even after the new banknote is issued. Treasurer Jim Chalmers said the change was an opportunity to find a good balance. The monarch will still be on the coins, but the $5 bill will tell more about our history, our heritage and our country, and I think that's a good thing," he told reporters in Melbourne. Opposition leader Peter Dutton compared the move to changing the date of a national holiday. The decision to remove the king's portrait from the bills was described by Senator Lydia Thorpe as a huge victory for ordinary people, indigenous people who fought for the decolonization of Australia. This is a tremendous victory for the ordinary people, the indigenous people who fought for the decolonization of this country. Indigenous people have never ceded our sovereignty to any king or queen. Time for a treaty republic? It is estimated that indigenous peoples lived in Australia for at least 65,000 years before British colonization. The British monarch remains the head of state of Australia, but the role is now largely symbolic. Australia is one of the former British colonies currently debating the extent to which it should retain its constitutional ties to Great Britain. Incidentally, interestingly enough, British-Australian ties began to break down after the Dukes of Sussex went there and then left the royal family.